Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. It is Thursday, my dudes. I have the man here with me, also rocking the Squirrel Tribe, if you guys can see that. Listen, listen, I need to explain to you what's happening right now. I am three mimosas deep, and let me explain why. It is the last day of school for the kid, and if you saw the blog post that I put on Buy Me a Coffee, you will understand that we are celebrating the fact that we have a seventh grader who made it through the year um, and who is now an eighth grader starting tomorrow. After she wakes up tomorrow, she's officially an eighth grader. Today is the last day as a seventh grader. But we're celebrating us as parents on making it through this shit because there's a lot of times that parents don't stop and think to themselves, look what we've done. Look what we were able to do. We were able to birth a child, number one, or adopt a child or raise a child. However, you are a parent it works. That's what matters. But we made it through the year in a new place being Florida with a new school being where she is now with a teenager because she's 13 and um, without family and friends most of the time here. We made it. So we're celebrating we today. Friends. We made I mean, friends. We made friends and family has come to visit, but it's still we are celebrating us <laughs> as parents, as a family, as whatever. So we went and had breakfast this morning because it's the last time for at least a couple of months before we are just he and I again, because we'll have the kid all summer, which I look forward to every single year. I friggin' love the things that we get to do together. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? <laughs> we're just playing music in the background. <laughs> I need, stop, listen. But we went, <laughs> we went and had breakfast this morning and he said, we sat at the bar and the first thing he said was mimosas. And I was like, well, empty stomach, but if that's what you we're doing. You me with a good time. <laughs> that's what we're doing. So we had a mimosa and then we ordered food and then the food came and this one over here said, let's have two. And then we ate the food and the food went away and this man said, hey, you know what? Let's go for three. And I was like, this is going to be interesting. So now he's saying, let's go for number four because the kid is walking to a, a place after school with a, a group of friends to hang out. She ain't going nowhere. So we don't have to really like drive and pick her up so we're no we got we got a, we got our own uber we, have we a, do have our own uber so our a, friend patrick he is an uber now and when when we need somebody i say right, you're snapping at the dog i thought you're snapping at patrick i was like what the no he's snapping at the dog because the dog likes to go up. into our room and hang out on our carpet for unknown reasons but um look his tail went down he thought you yelled at him you snap too aggressively, sir. Apologize to Maxi Poo. No, he needs to Apologize. man up. Man up. Maxi Poo. Better grow a pair. <laughs> I still love you, Maxi Poo. So um, we had a celebratory mimosa brunch, breakfast, whatever else, and it was lovely. I still have leftovers. I can never finish food. Um, but now this man is going to get some orange juice, unless you want. We don't have a lot of orange juice left. No, but I have um, the pineapple perrier, perrier, whatever, perrier. You can mix it with that. It's really good. You can also mix it with, I had a pineapple juice, but I guess the pineapple has gone. There's an open period right there. It might be kind of flat though. Mm. You can mix it with the <laughs> miso broth. That would where's, be nice. Where's disgusting. Russell Westbrook mean when you need it? Oh, with his face like that. So listen, I need to explain to you what happened while we were at brunch today. And I really hope the guy that was there did not read my shirt and him because he happened to dress for Squirrel Tribe today. Like we rocked the crap at a Squirrel Tribe today. I'm hoping the guy that was at the bar did not read our shirts, did not pull up our YouTube and is not now watching this video because this is what happened at brunch today. Let me explain to you why if you go out to eat, you must always, always pick the bar. Not because you get better service. Sometimes that's not the case. Not because you have more leg room. That's definitely not the case. You have very little elbow room next to the people. Because today they were on rotation. Yeah, today they were on rotation, so we did not know who our server was until like a few minutes in. But what's interesting at the bar is you can literally listen to everybody's conversation. And I am But some people naturally want you to hear nosy. their conversation. And that's the thing. So the guy today wanted everybody to hear his conversation. And y'all, it was like the juiciest conversation we have heard in weeks, and I was enthralled. I'm sitting there trying to eat my food, drink my drink, play on my phone, talk to him. But the whole time, it's all for show because every single part of me is listening to what this guy is saying. So listen, sir, if you're here, please understand, thank you for today's video in advance. <laughs> this video is sponsored by the guy at the bar. So listen, this guy at the bar, we sit down, we get to the bar area and we like the bar area because it is generally a little friendlier. You can talk to the people at the bar, whatever. 
And I'm a talkative person. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I don't know how to shut the hell up. She'll never shut up. I'll never shut up. So we're sitting at the bar. Ever, we end, ever. We end, ever, ever. <laughs> we end up at the end seats, right? Because it's the only spot that's open. What are you doing, sir? I'm trying to get these damn cups. No, you're not. That there's, is not a cup. That's a only pitcher. two cups. You better mimosa it correctly. You take this one. Oh. I want my mimosa cup. If you're going to do it, you have to do it. No, you should do the jars because that's what we normally drink out of at the restaurant. But anyway, so listen, we get to the bar and we sit. Normally, there's like it's like this little curve, like a Nike swoosh, if you will. And we decided to sit because it's the only two open seats together at the little curve of the Nike swoosh. Well, in the little bin part here is a guy on his laptop. And I knew that he was in the space where technically where he would sit, it would like be in the way, right? So I, when I walked up to the bar, I moved the seats down so he would still have his space, but we would have plenty of space. And I could tell that he was grateful that I wasn't like, mm, could you move your shed because we want to sit here and you're taking up space. He should have got a smaller laptop. He should have got a smaller laptop. But anyway, was so we Damn. sat down at the bar, Commodore moved 64 over. Commodore laptop. <laughs> so we sit at the bar and he moves his stuff over. But And he's a, he's a nice guy, I assume. He didn't say a single word. He's working. He didn't murder anybody while he was there, so he's probably pretty nice. Probably pretty nice. If you don't murder people, it automatically puts you into the pretty nice Dead category. Giveaway. I like that. I like that. That's all it takes these days is you didn't murder anybody? And you round up when you check out. It's the roundup part the that does it for me. It's not the mur it's the non-murder, but mostly it's the roundup, especially when it's to feed the children and places like y'all. This is three of us is in. So hopefully this video isn't making you literally want to unsubscribe. But if it does, pfft, oh well, bye. So we go to sit at the bar. The I'm I'm on the very very end. Then it's the man, which some people have a weird fascination with the fact that I call him the man, and they say it's. Uh, oh, disrespectful and fuck. whatever else. I don't give a shit. shit. What did you do? You over, the, you the over ju mimosa? The juice is just like crazy. The chemical reaction. Did you really just pour this entire bottle in one? That's all you. You didn't give me any. Y'all, mm -hmm. I need you to understand. This thing was full. Look how much is left. I Look how not small my glass is compared to the oh, size of his jug. Shit. So you have over mimosa yourself. Damn. So what I heard was we need to switch. <laughs> That's what I heard is we need to switch. We're not going to switch. You hey, can switch here. this isn't Mimosa Monday, but cheers to a happy Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my dude. I was trying to make it like. Oh, wait, I can't until you do the thing with the thing. Do you want this? No, do the thing with the thing. Not that thing. Do the thing with the thing. Not that thing. <laughs> no. Fourth time's a charm unless you went really x-rayed with it. Thank you, sir. So cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, don't let me pee in a video. <laughs> this is why you can't take us anywhere. <laughs> Listen, totally off topic. The people are like, how are you guys married for so long and still seem to like each other? Because he's an idiot and I love him because he makes me laugh. Like literally laughter is everything to me. But anyway, so, oh wait, I didn't sip. Hold on. What did you just put back on there? I got the cover for it. It's the thing work. It, put, it goes back. You put the, the cork back in there? No, it's plastic. Oh, I was about to say, how I in the... this plastic. Now I want to listen to like early 2000s rap. Thank you. So listen, y'all, thank you for, for still staying here. If you've stayed here, if you've left, bye. Don't but, click okay. out. Listen, so we sit at the bar. It's me, the man, the guy on the computer, and then there's this other guy. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about other guy now. Really? With you the mean Krabby? Krabby? He had on the Turtles records. Do y'all remember Turtles records? Oh, they're talking about Krabby. Oh, no. That was the, after the Turtles records guy left. If you drink that entire thing of champagne, ma, Prosecco, whatever, you're going to be fucked up. Was it Turtles Records? It said Turtles Records. So you guys remember when Turtles Tower. Records... There was Tower no. Records. No. Tower no. was the record store. Tower. No, there was Turtles also, sir. He's had too many mimosas. So listen, this guy is sitting here, and I didn't pay him much attention when we walked in because I'm not like super, super nosy. You didn't nosy. pay him no never mind. I didn't pay him no never mind, but I am slightly nosy. 
and he had like the gauges in his ears and a white uh, yellow turtles t-shirt on and he was a little bit older i would say probably well, if there's 40s. any question of who we were talking about he's gonna know exactly when he watches this video well the second i started talking about the conversation he would know also listen it was it was so incredibly interesting and i have to he's say like, it like hey girl that. hey girl what you wear no it was pretty much like that. it was pretty much like that but listen I know there's been people in here like, oh my God, I can't believe you talk about people like that. But y'all, it's so freaking interesting. How can you not talk about it? I think they want so to be talked about. They, this guy wanted to be noticed and he wanted to be talked about. Discretion was not a concern. Discretion was definitely not a concern. So he's sitting at the bar and he's eating his, his food's about to come out. And I, did, I realized he had a dog at his feet. And side note, he had a very gorgeous pit bull named Juno. We're just putting all his information out there now. A pit bull named Juno was at his feet and this this pit bull was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> what are you doing with the squirrel? <laughs> Stop, we have to do this so that we can do the thing with Chris. I go in a second. Stop. So this guy is sitting here at the bar and he's on a phone call to begin with, right? And he's having this conversation about how he only had five drinks last night and but obviously she said something he didn't like and there was a fight but he doesn't remember but he only had five drinks and blah 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 and i was like okay this is kind of interesting but i'm not gonna be like crazy nosy y'all but then he decided to facetime somebody and i was like oh i'm so nosy right now i was so nosy i don't even care judge me all you call, want i, I only call care. you baby I only call you baby. I only, I don't know. I only, I, I say baby a lot, but I only call, I only call certain people beautiful. So when I call you beautiful baby, you know that obviously. And I was like, <laughs> literally wanted to vomit in my plate. Sir, if you're watching, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but we don't like that shit. So he's on this FaceTime with this person. And it was one of those, those extra cringy kind of as a, as a bystander, you wanted to just stare and, and be like, it's like a tr train wreck, unfortunately. I hate to say it that way. Like, you could not you look, look away. away. You could not stop listening. We stopped talking until, to each other completely. No, 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 we like, stopped. And then we, I said, well, I know what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> and I said, don't worry. I've already figured out this then, is 2.0 all day long. And then the bartender long. was like, she engaged. Oh, no, 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 no. She poor bartender, poor that. girl. She engaged with Broski while he was, after he was done with his conversation. You could tell about 15 minutes in, she was like, God. 15 I minutes I in, she was like, oh, I got to go into the kitchen real fast. She literally starts backing away while he's still talking. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. And then he leaves. He went to start another sentence. She was he, gone. He, he wanted to like, keep going. But it was so interesting because, listen, again, sir, <laughs> if you're here, thank you for the content. But what was so interesting was he seemed like a great guy. He was an attractive gentleman. He had nice his, feet. He had nice feet. Well, he had shoes on. We don't know if he, he had nice feet. He told us he had nice feet. He did tell us he had nice feet. But he was an attractive gentleman for his age. And I'm going to put it that way because I could not tell how old he was. I think maybe late 40s, early 50s based on the sun He was aspect. between the age of 34 and 72. There we go. That's about accurate. And he seemed, like a, he seemed like a nice guy. But he also seemed like he wanted to have people really paying attention to him. Like he needed to be that center of attention. There's nothing wrong with that. Plenty of people need to be the center of attention. I don't know, like Kardashians and things like that. But when you go to a restaurant or anywhere in public and you have those loud conversations. When you have a FaceTime you, phone call at the bar on speaker. Like, you can't be upset if people are like, what? And then like literally wanting to put their, their hey, sir, sir, no, 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 no. Don't say that to her. Say this. Like it, everything about it was just. I don't even know. I don't even know how to talk about this. And if you want to know how not to get a girl to like you, Ooh. tell her you haven't seen her in the gym lately mm -hmm. and she should show up. Mm -hmm. It was awkward. So the lady who does the busing, there's two ladies that bust the tables at the, and she this restaurant. she wide open. Oh my God, this is why I can't have you on 2.0 because you're an idiot. <laughs> so there's two ladies who generally clean off the tables at this restaurant that we go to. Last time we were there, we tipped them out because I don't know if they get tipped out by the servers and they do a really good job. And I wanted to let them know that they were appreciated. So we gave them a tip or whatever else. So today when we were there, she remembered us. She's like, hi. And we're like, hi, right? Well, she walks up to clean off part of the table where the guy with the laptop after he left, she walked up to clean off his little section of the bar and the guy that with the, with the, with the, what do they call it? The, the gauges, the guy with the gauges and the yellow turtle shirt who has the pit bull named Juno and who, according to him, has nice feet and who is also talking to a married woman. I don't think he was saying that Who's Juno been married nice for five years, but she so, told him that her husband is awful. And so they've been having this thing and it's like, whatever, there's a whole lot there. 
all of it on so FaceTime. Much, we so can't much even information get into right now. that I don't know why you put that out there as loud as you did, sir. Oh, no, I know why. I know why. I know, because he wanted, I, I think he saw our shirts and was like, I hope they talk about me. He was having this conversation. Mission accomplished, we sir. Down. That's true. The, live, the he was. FaceTime was going on before we sat down because <laughs> I saw her and she had a big black, like hair, like big hair. She, did oh, see? I didn't see her. Yeah. I saw it when we, I didn't see the damn dog sitting there, but I saw, <laughs> oh God, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, the downside for you, sir, is I do not edit. <laughs> I might have my pants a little bit. <laughs> Look, this is like that Sprite challenge where you're supposed to <laughs> chug the Sprite and see if you can burp or not. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> oh, y'all, I swear. This is not, um, this is unprofessional and I'm sorry, but yeah, put your sunglasses on so they can't see your cry laughing over there. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is the same man. Who's that? Listen, I'm about to put all his business out in the streets. This is the same man who literally for years and years and years and years, up until our first official date, would fart, don't you dare hit in, would fart near me and burp near me and have no issues. The second we went on our date, he was like, never again. It's been 15 years. He does not fart or burp in front of me unless it accidentally happens like that. Oh, that was hilarious. What the hell was I saying about the guy? Oh, Wind it back. <laughs> Rewind. Okay, listen, y'all. Again, this is the most whatever video, but I don't even care because this is hilarious to me. And if you don't like it, I don't know. Get a sense of humor. Um, so, <laughs> are you laughing at me? <laughs> I got to remember, it's ain't my channel. I, I <laughs> You're about to say some, some real whatever, weren't you? I'm going to tell them the truth. <laughs> the truth is, if you don't have a sense of humor and you can't stand these kind of conversations, you shouldn't be on this channel. That's what he was going to say, but in probably in bolder terms but listen this guy at the bar y'all 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 hey y'all this guy at the bar he wanted everybody to focus on him and mission freaking accomplished because i could not have turned my attention away from this train wreck of a relationship um breakdown if you had paid me you could have been like ma'am thousand dollars i'm like no, no 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 wait i need to see what's happening over here because it was just Oh, but the lady who cleans the tables, the, y'all, that's where I was. She comes up here, up, up to the, the bar to clean off the, the little section where the guy with the laptop had been sitting and the guy turns to her. Now, mind you, this man had already paid for his meal. This man already had his to-go drink. There was no reason whatsoever for him to still be sitting there. He was doing nothing. He was just waiting for another opportunity to talk to a female. So she walks up and again, sir, no disrespect. So the girl who works there walks up and he goes, Hey, I haven't seen you at the gym in a while. And she does not speak a lot of English either that, or she pretended not to speak a lot of English. So she didn't have to engage in conversation. So she's like, Oh yeah, no, no gym. And he said, you should really go again. Uh, you know, so I could see you there or whatever else. And I'm like, it did mm. not come across that way. It did, it not, did not come across no. that way. The, when you say you should really go again, all I heard was, ma'am, you look fat. You need to get back in the gym. And I would have nut punched him like immediately. It was not a good way to hit on a female. So, fellas, <laughs> fellas. Well, why are you hitting on the woman when you're trying to get the other woman to leave Well, because she's her already married. She's no, a, the other one's already married. But she's supposed to leave. No, she's a, so the lady that he's talking to has been married for five years, but they just went on a cruise together. When they got back from the cruise together, she went and hung out with her husband for a week, and then her sister was there, and then... Y'all, I don't even... But her friends know that the guy ain't no good for her. Oh, and she says the guy is no good for her. She's been telling him the whole time how bad this guy is. And all of a sudden, this guy is so much better. And yeah, but he, he hit the back <laughs> shots. He hit the back shots. And she like, it ain't no good, but... It's good. Yeah. Like, it's good. So, I don't know what's happening. All I know is that man needed a lot of attention. And the married woman should probably stay married instead of going to that guy. Sorry again note, if you're watching. Sorry. Side note: Those pancakes were delicious. Those pancakes were so good. Thanks for letting me steal like five or seventeen bites. Sweet cream me. pancakes. I don't even know what that means. Oh yeah, you do. Oh god. Yeah, you do. You know what sweet cream pancakes sweet. mean? You got the little Dr Pepper guy making pancakes. I need you to go watch Hustle and Flow again. I was listening to the soundtrack yesterday. I was bawling out in the jeep, and every time I got to a red light, it's like, ah, turn it down because. 
most people in our area don't want to listen to me <laughs> rap along with hustle and flow. <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta own that. Yeah. Where we live, summertime, Jeeps with no doors, you're going to listen to some other You're going to listen to some music. You're either going to listen to some country. You're going to listen to some dirty rap. You're going to listen to some old Shania Twain, which is still country. You're going to listen to some Journey. You go out on the water, the boats are pumping. The boats. What's so fun they to a, me. They got a, a bajillion watts. What's so fun to me are the boats where it's like all like 18 and 19 year old white kids who are blasting the most raunchy rap music you could ever hear in your entire life. And I'm like, but who are you catering to right now? Because... They're like, give me the most gangster rap you got. So gangster that it's not even good. Destin is predominantly white, so I don't know what you're doing over here, but... They done took these boats over here from Panama City Beach. That's what they done did. <laughs> that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, so the other thing I wanted to mention to you guys, totally off topic, but the main topic that I was going to talk about before mimosas were involved. Um, <clears throat> so the kid today is her last day of seventh grade. And I'm going to be honest, and this one probably is not fully aware, so don't kill the child later. Okay? Okay. Her grades, the four, so her grades in the very beginning of seventh grade were spectacular. I was like, look at you doing so good. And then second semester, I was like, no, you're still doing really good. And then third semester was like, you're not doing so great. And then fourth semester was like, did you forget to go to class? Like what the absolute hell? So her grades have slowly, you know, they kind of slowly diminished. The only transcript that matters is high school. And that's exactly what I think. So listen, I need you all to understand this. Um, parent to parent, whatever else you want to call it. As a 41-year-old, looking back on she's my school. Idiot. My child, no, she's, she's so not friggin' idiot. smart. It's ridiculous. The only transcript that matters is high school. Yeah. Uh, and even then it doesn't matter. And even then it doesn't matter if you're not going to college. So whatever. Do you want to see my degrees? Because I'm not, I'm not going to show them to you. <laughs> 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 you want, you want to see my, my, uh, my W-2s and my bank account? Look, I have a high school diploma. I ain't got shit else, and that's perfectly fine. And I'm still, I'm still a very educated woman. I know a lot of woman. millionaires that don't have college degrees. Okay, stop. That's not what I'm talking about. So listen, the kid, her grades are not that great right now. Science and her are not getting along because her teacher and her don't get along, and I fully understand that. Her and language arts, they're working on it, but she is into things that are being written now versus things that were written way back when. I understand that. Her math grade is actually her highest. She gets that from him. Me and math? Two plus two? 17. 22. Close enough. We don't get along. But here's, here's the thing. There are so many parents out there who are so hell-bent on their kids getting A's and B's, and they ride their asses like there's nothing more important than the A's and the B's. And to me, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. I also know an equal amount of kids that had 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 GPAs. Who work at Taco Bell. That are dumb as shit. There you go. So to me, it's like I would much rather her enjoy her childhood, make the friends, have the moments, learn what she's interested in, and just get the grades that make you pass to the next grade. And that may make me a crappy parent, but honestly, I don't care. I don't want her to constantly be stressed about homework, to constantly be stressed about this test, to constantly be stressed about this whatever. There is nothing that I learned hey. in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade that I am implementing today. Well, you what think. am I implementing here that I learned in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade? Now, Not a damn thing, except for the ability to talk to people, to have my own mind, and to speak what's on my mind. Well, the key with school is learning how to pass the test, how to play the game. Yeah. Okay. Everything else, eh, depending, you know, for the most part, uh, you don't necessarily need it like that. Now, granted, when I was doing construction, there would be times when I would use the Pythagorean theorem, but that was extremely a rare. A squared cases. plus b squared equals c squared. It was when I was doing tape. Is that a Pythagorean? Because I, I don't even tape. remember. I, I was calculating tangents and angles and shit like that. But they got applications now. You can just I plug just did in, the paint. You I can don't plug know. in the numbers. It'll do it for you. I was the color girl. It could do it for you. Yeah. But I was having a conversation, which this leads into why you need to stop recording, with Chris. Because oh, he is almost. You need ready. to hurry up. He's almost ready. Okay. But he goes. I'm looking to hire somebody. The only qualification they need is, do they know how to use TikTok? That's it. That's it. That is true. That is He's true. willing to pay somebody an ungodly amount of money to make content for TikTok. Nothing else matters. He goes, I don't even care if you don't speak English. Can you post content and get viral views on TikTok? So that's the thing. Listen, with the kid, with school, and again, every parent's going to be completely different. Um, for us, he has the college diploma. I do not. Without a college diploma, I was still making 
way more than people with college diplomas when I was in corporate America. With a college diploma and without, he was still making way more than people with or without. He was doing things that most people would not be able to do. I'm doing things that most people can't do, don't fathom doing, don't think about doing. We're living a life that most people don't realize is attainable because they get so stuck on these societal norms of you must do this, 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 I've and had, this, I've this, this, so this, this, this order. Say, do you know I have a master's degree? Who gives two shits? And Do I don't mean that disrespectfully know, at all. You also know that I'm broke as hell? Like That's the problem. You have this master's degree that you'll be paying you off know, until you literally go to your grave. But you could have started your own business without this master's degree and been making twice as much money and been happy. There's just, anyway, that's not, none of that's the point to this. The point is, it's the last day of seventh grade. We are celebrating with mimosas. She gets to celebrate with a movie with her friends and popcorn and a soda at the movies, which is what I wanted to mention. She sends me a text message and she says, hey, listen, when I go to the movies with my friends later, can I please get popcorn and a soda? And my first thought was, I, I literally went back to when I was in middle school and the ability to go out with my friends and get popcorn, watch a movie, have a soda for under like $8 and how much fun it was and how freeing it was to have that little bit of um, freedom feeling. <laughs> Is this what we're doing? And I, I want her to enjoy those moments in life. I'm never going to be the person who rides her ass about her grades because in oh, the end, they don't matter what matters that she is a good human being that she is compassionate that she cares about other people that she respects other people she rubs that her she feet does what she does what she needs to do that she puts lotion on my feet because i love her she's the best um and that she brushes my hair because she likes to do that too it's a lot of fun but she's a really really good kid and we have done a very good job and for that sir cheers because i didn't i didn't think that me having kids would turn out this well but she's freaking amazing but anyway the whole reason I started talking about her in school is because the best part of school, the end, the last day of school was getting your yearbooks and getting to walk around to all your friends in that you last two periods. You had one period. job. You had one, one job, job, Balfour. Balfour fucked it all up. The kids are not getting their yearbooks. These kids are not getting their yearbooks. They might be available between June 6th and June 9th. How does that help the kids who have graduated eighth grade? They're done now. Who are moving, who won't get to see these kids ever again. Yearbooks are such a big deal. And to not be able to see them again. Your book is, update. Uh, you ain't getting it till June. Yeah. June sixth, the ninth. Like, yeah. what good is that? That's gonna... such a uh, crap show for these kids who get so excited about it because it was one of the best parts about the last day of school. No backpack. Get your yearbooks. Walk around at recess or fifth period, sixth period, and have everybody sign your yearbook. That was like the best part of the last day of school. And Balfour just shit on all these kids and their last day of school. And I think it sucks. So when she said, can I go to a movie with my friends after school and get popcorn and a soda? My imme immediate response was yes. Enjoy the last day of seventh grade. We're going to live it out this summer out in the sun, doing fun things on the kayaks and the bay and the, the harbor, the whatever else. We're going to take a boat. We're going to hang out at the pool. We're going to get some sun. We're going to learn some things that matter in real life versus the stuff that doesn't really matter that they teach you in school, in all honesty. And that's it. Listen, I mean, it kind of matters. It kind of matters. But it kind of matters. You know. But we're going to have fun as a family. And that's what matters the most to me. And now we're going to go jump on another. And now we're going to go do a video. I get to do a video with Chris Igo. If you guys have never looked up Chris Igo, we met him. Well, actually, he met him about a year ago. Somehow through YouTube, there's a comment on a video I just somewhere. Reached out to him. He reached out to Chris Igo on YouTube. He saw one of his videos, liked him, liked what he had to say, reached out to him. He was like, hey, man, we should talk. And we've been friends ever since. We got to meet him at YouTube Vid Summit in Los Angeles in and September I, last year. Wait, was it LA? Nope, no. LA. That was LA. In LA of last year. And Chris Igo is friggin' hilarious. And he tells it exactly like it is. He's real estate. And he tells you exactly like it is. He Yo, says, listen. This joke is going to be lit. He is so awesome. And he asked me if I would do a video with him. So I'm like, oh, this will be so much fun. However, <laughs> we had to warn him, we're a couple of mimosas in. So anything goes. So that's going to be fun. You guys couple, go three, check four, out five. Chris Igo and leave comments below. I love you all, my squirrel tribe. Have a fabulous rest of your Thursday. Ignore this moron back here. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>